friends of Jesus. We are happy to meet you again. This is another opportunity. We've been given by God. So that we can share the word of God. And we expect God to touch you. As he's touching us as well. And he makes a difference in your life. Back with the, we are studying the word of God. Faith for your healing. So, we are now in part two. Your faith would bring healing to you. So today, we're going to see what you call corporate faith. There is faith that can help you, which is your faith. And you can have faith because of others around you. Others' faith can help you to have faith. For your miracle. For your healing. That's where we are today. Let's pray. King of glory. We thank you for this day. Here you are, beloved children. May you meet them, King of glory. May you save the lost. May you hear the sick law set free those in captivity. We declare total restoration their life. In the name of Jesus, rise their face through your word. Draw them closer to you through your word. Let signs and wonders reach them through your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the ladies and angelic ministers, surround them as they hear the word of God. Let the angels tear the sick as they hear the word. Whoever is sick, let them be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Today's word, we are in Luke chapter 5, verse 17. We are seeing this faith. Corporate faith. How you can have faith because of those around you. The Bible says in Luke 5, chapter, chapter 5, verse 17. One day, mm. uh, one day, as he was teaching and preaching and teachers of the laws who had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. Some men came calling a paralytic uh, man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. Verses 19. When they could not find a way to do this because of the cloud, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the cloud and right in front of Jesus. Amen. Matayo chapter 5 verse 17 Nuko ku munsi umwe muri iyo yari igishaga abafarisayo no bigisha amategeko bari bicaye aho bavuye mu birorero byose byigarirana ni Yudaya ni Yerusalemu kandi baragaza umwami imana zari muri we zo kubakiza aha nuko abagabo baza no muntu mu ngobyi waremaye bashaka kumwinjiza ngo bamushyire imbere ye babuza aho bamwinjiriza uko abantu bahuzuye burira hejuru y'inzu bamucisha mu mategura bamumanurira na ningo byihagati yabo imbere ya Yesu thank you we are seeing here an interesting story of men who had faith. And their faith affected their friend. You know, faith can, you, your faith can, uh, uh, can contaminate others. As a, you can contaminate flu from your friend. So you can have faith from your friend. So this story tells us of a man who was paralyzed. And the Bible says that he couldn't move. But his friends could move. He couldn't go anywhere. But his friends could go somewhere. So one day, his friends heard what Jesus was doing. And they saw what Jesus was doing. So their face rose. And they started seeing their friends getting, getting healed. Too. And they said to one another, Why can't we go there? 
bring our friend to where Jesus is so that our friend can be healed. My friend, it is very bad to have friends without faith. Friends who have no faith, they can't give you words of faith. They can't encourage you. They can't give you hope. The Bible says that they came to where the man was lying. They said, brother, we are taking you to where Jesus is. He's doing miracles. He's healing the sick. And he'll be healed too. And the Bible says, they carried him. When they reached there, the house was full. There was no way to reach him. His friends decided to climb the house, remove the tiles, and lower him to where Jesus was seated. Imagine this kind of faith. They found many people around. That was the reason to say, no, uh, my brother, we have no space. Let's take you back. We'll bring another day. But they ignored the excuses they saw around. They decided to climb the house which wasn't theirs. They took that risk. Because of their friend. So what do we learn from this man? Number one. They heard what Jesus was doing is possible to them too. They they knew what Jesus was doing. Today, you have some challenges. There are things you are going through. But let me tell you something. Your creator can solve those problems. As this man had faith. Have that kind of faith in you. Have that healing faith in you. It will help you to receive your new miracles today. You can expect a miracle day after day. Let's see what happened this man. Luke chapter 5 verse 17. It says, one day, as was teaching the Pharisees and teachers of, of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. You know, the power of healing was available. So they saw the power of healing. And they said, Oh boy, our brother can be healed too. Let's go and bring him. I encourage you today that power is present where you are now. As you watch the word of God going over, as you hear the word of God, the healing power of God is coming upon you now. The healing power of God is descending upon you. He's coming to you right now. No, no. In the